Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Fisher Space Pen. I'm going to do an unboxing about this pen. This pen is very special. Um, it has a lot of things that I really didn't know until I went to do some research about it. I've been wanting this pen for so long but they were so expensive at the beginning and um, if you saw my previous um, video haul I told you that this pen was only one dollar. They used to run about $50 to $60 at the beginning when they came out. And it, it, it was quite expensive for what, for what it was. And really, I didn't know exactly what this pen would do. This is a special pen that will write underwater, upside down at any angle, in extreme temperatures, over grease, three times longer than average pen. It's, it's amazing. This pen was designed to... Uh, go to design specifically for the NASA and for the astronauts when they go to the moon or they go to outer space and they needed something to write with and um, the cool thing about if you didn't know is the Fisher Space pen in 1968 was used on the Apollo 7 after two years of testing by NASA so that tells you right there what kind of pen this is um, the, what, the other thing that I can tell you about is that this one specifically is the bullet model. It's, a, it's, it's, it's chrome and, um, it's, it, it's made obviously in the U.S. You can see the probably made in the U.S., which is really cool. And, um, they have a website where you can get more information about it. They have different models and different pens. Uh, you, you you could you know you could you could go crazy with all the type of models and things that they have there. Uh, it looks like they have grown a lot throughout the years. The um, the pen. Let's let's open it. But oh, oh, another thing that I want to tell you about is that the inventor of the space pen was Paul Fisher. Paul Fisher uh, passed away in in 19 and no I'm sorry in 2006 he passed away and uh, his son uh, took over the company and kept kept on going you know doing business I'm gonna cut this because I try to open it before prior I start doing this video <laughs> But it was kind of Mission Impossible. So I'm just going to cut this out. And it looks like it's really, really difficult to open. So let's see if I don't destroy my hands with this. You see, this is like super hard to open. There you go. So there you go. That was the packaging. Really cool, really you can see actually the drawing about the pressure. It's a, it's a, it's, it works by pressure. Whoops, my pen went all over the way. It, it works by pressure. It's a pressurized ink cartridge. So, whatever you do, this thing will write anywhere, anywhere, everywhere. So let's see. Let me put this out of the way, and let's talk about this little pen. As you can see, the pen is really, really small. I have small hands, so look. Look at this. It's not even, it doesn't even go all the way to the end of my finger. So, not even the little finger. See? So, this is really, really, really small. For women, it's, it's great uh, because you can put this on your purse and it, it will fit anywhere you want to. You want to put it on your purse. For men, I think what I've what I've saw, I saw a few videos before prior to do this one. Men will actually put this pen on their pockets, on the front pockets of her of their pants, and it won't poke you or do anything weird <laughs> to you. So you know you might consider that if you're a guy. So let's see. Um, the pen is three. Three and a half inches closed. Let's see if that's true. Sort of. Three and a half inches closed. Yeah, that's right. Three and a half inches closed. And then 
Let me see if I can just do a close-up of that because you're kind of far away. There we go. Three and a half inches, right? And then if you open the pen like this, put the cap on the back, it will be five and a quarter. So let's see that. Yeah, it's five and a quarter. Five and a quarter inch. So there you go. Let's see if you can see that. Five and a quarter. That's that's pretty neat. Now let's see. I'm gonna fold this paper like this so we can write something. So let's see. We'll write and we're gonna test this beauty. I'm gonna write down Emerald Queen. And it's very smooth. I like the way it writes. Um, I I saw reviews about this pen. You know, you can actually write on paper. You can write on plastic. You can write on um, anything basically that you want to write on, like board, like board, or like anything. So I mean, what I'm testing here. This is black ink, by the way. I read as well that you can actually change the ink if you wanna if you wanna just have like blue ink you can go ahead and buy a separate ink for it and I'm having it in blue which is kinda cool so this is black ink and let me show you up close the ink no matter how if you are writing against the wall like this you know usually the pens won't write against the wall you would have a weird pen that won't write. This pen will do that. Also, if you are under a lot of, which is rare, but maybe you are, you never know, under a lot of heat, um, the pen would write. Because, like I said, it has a system that it's by pressure. So, it's kind of cool. Well, overall, I can tell you right out of the bat that I love the pen. I think I'm going to enjoy the pen a lot because I really needed it. Something really nice. The pen, This pen is all chrome, so this is really, really, really a nice pen. It has engraved here, Space Pen by Fisher, you, made in U.S. So I don't think you can catch that, but... I don't know if you see that little engraving thing. That's what it says. I like I like the feeling of it. It's very comfortable. You can write miles and miles with this pen and the pen will never, 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 never. The ink will never go. I read as well that the pen is a lifetime warranty. So if something happens to the pen, you can always go to them and you know tell them listen uh, something happened <laughs> and they will change it so it's it's pretty cool I you want my opinion my opinion is I recommend it you always need a pen for everything you write a check or either you need to sign some papers or you need to write something really quick on your notes or you gotta have a pen always with you is important it is I always have a pen and when I don't have a pen I really get upset that's why I got a space pen so guys if you like what you see please rate comment and subscribe and thanks for watching goodbye